Right folks, this is uh, probably the last little dynamo, dynamo test with the uh, Maplin's little electric motor. Uh, reason being at present with the engines I have steam wise, you can't fit uh, much bigger a pulley onto the drive shaft of this uh, engine and the, indeed the SE1A because um, there just isn't the clearance between the base of the shaft and the base itself however I've fitted a one inch uh, pulley if you can't you may be able to just see it um, other side of the flywheel it's not Meccano it's I don't know it could be Erector or anything I've had them for years I don't use them because the shafts are uh, narrower than Meccano so I've drilled this one out to accept uh, the mammoth shaft. It's all set up, just got to get pressure up and uh, we'll see if we can gain any more from the around 2 volts from uh, the test the other day. Whilst we're waiting for uh, steam to get up um, you can just about see the 1 inch pulley uh, green uh, between the spokes and just over the rim of the flywheel rim there. Um, I suppose it you may get a one and a half inch pulley there but um, one thing I'm not going to do is drill any uh, Meccano ones out to uh, fit the uh, drive shaft uh, I dare say there's others available somewhere uh, anyway in the meantime we'll just wait a few more minutes for uh, pressure uh, pressure is still a little bit low at the moment I think the belt could do a tightening slightly, but let's see how we get on. Already with over 2 volts. I do find this SE2A quite. Uh, as you can probably see, prone to uh, forcing a bit of water out the exhaust uh, to start with, even though I've been very careful with the level of the water. Um, it does settle down, but I'll uh, remove some of the water out of the funnel. Right, so I'll remove that excess water out of the funnel, so uh, the exhaust is uh, a lot freer now. Uh, just start to Get up to full uh, power, and uh, we're doing now with the magic three volts. The way it's going, we might even see three and a half. Just touching three and a half volts. Uh, looking at the uh, other experiments for reference, if it was possible to fit a one and a half inch pulley we would probably only get oh, another half a volt maybe a little bit more so you're looking at four volts maybe 4.2 volts uh, what we really need is more clearance or a more suitable engine which I'll, I'll look into uh, see we're going very well now at 3.7 volts
Not bad at all. Uh, a very handy engine that one. It's been used uh, a few times the last couple of days. But it's been nice to see it uh, drive the dynamo with a one and a half inch pulley. So if anybody's got a suitable one to fit the mammoth drive shaft, let me know. PM or email details are under my uh, username. And uh, what to play with next. See you all. Afternoon folks, I lied yesterday evening, it completely slipped my mind I've got the mech ones now and uh, I haven't tested it, well I have now, this has had already had one run and I'm glad to say that I was told they go like a train, which considering a steam engine that it is, is uh, not a brilliant analogy I suppose, uh, I would liken it more like to Concorde, it's an excellent run and this is the one with slightly worse condition if you can put it that way. Um, I think it's been repaired at some time, but it runs a dream. Uh, already tested it, tested it with uh, the standard pulley on the flywheel to a half inch pulley on the little dynamo, and it gives something in the region. I don't know, uh, I was halfway through the steaming, so it's possible it could give about 3 volts, but it was definitely giving uh, 2.6, 2.75 volts uh, for a considerable amount of time, and it runs for. Uh, Without driving anything, it's probably run for about 15 minutes, uh, and it's it's uh, most excellent. Um, now the shaft is the same size as a mechano axle. Not surprisingly, is it really? So I've put the flywheel in board uh, because if I put the pulleys on the inside of the uh, chassis of the steam engine. I'd still be restricted eventually. Um, I could probably just get a two inch one on there looking at the size of that flywheel. But to save any messing about uh, in the future, it's easier to swap over. Uh, I've already put a one and a half inch pulley on. Uh, I've not bothered with a half inch test. Um, this could be quite uh, effective. And uh, with a bit of uh, messing around, perhaps raising up the chassis a little bit. Um, on uh, some more Meccano, which you can see I've done anyway to keep it more stable than last night. Uh, I could do, quite feasibly put a three inch pulley on, which is the largest pulley I have. Uh, and uh, if the engine's got enough to drive that large pulley, uh, we should get some good results. Anyway, I'm going to fire her up. And uh, once she gets going, she'll uh, she's already lubed. We'll uh, give her a spin. I might have to adjust the uh, belt on the dynamo. I've got several belts, but as usual, you never have one the right size for what you need. Um, we'll just wait for it to steam up. She's already lubed, and uh, we'll see how we get on with this setup. Whilst we're waiting, I'll uh, I'll show you the different sizes of Meccano pulleys that are available to me anyway. Uh, you may not have seen these, but anyway. This one here, so that focuses a little bit. There, that there is a half inch pulley. It's not very good. There we are. That's a bit better. That's a half inch pulley. I'll just drop one. <laughs> That's a half inch, and here is the one inch pulley. Um, That's solid brass. That's made up of a boss and. Uh, I presume it's pressed brass, two halves. Uh, they can be quite wonky <laughs> after a bit of use. Um, can be straightened out. <sighs> That's the one and a half inch pulley. Again, made out of uh, one boss and two pressed pieces of brass. This compares with the two inch pulley, as you can see. It does look a lot bigger, but uh, it's, it's uh, obviously only half inch diameter bigger. Same make uh, on the way it's made. This is a bit rough. This is one of the ones I had in the job lot of parts 
from the other week but uh, I've straightened it out and it's actually uh, quite usable see somebody's repainted it at one time and uh, lastly one of quite a few I've got this here is a three and a half inch uh, sorry a three inch puller and uh, they are rather useful for uh, wheels if you can find the tyres now to fit them I dare say somebody does reproduction tyres and so there's the two inch by comparison and uh, we'll try all of these well, well we've got the one and a half inch on we'll try the two inch and the three inch um, as you can probably see I've uh, found that you can turn the uh, screen on the camera but of course it's all backwards to the way I move so I apologise but uh, hopefully we'll get better at this as we progress right steam will be up shortly right here goes not quite up to full pressure as you can see it runs very smoothly it's a shame there's no adjustable control so you could just uh, let it potter. We're already over three volts, coming up to three and a half. See the belt jumping around a bit. Oh, seems to have settled down a little. Might benefit from a bit of weight. But I don't want to, the belt seems to be okay, so I don't want to really uh, adjust it too much unless I have to. Now we've never broken, I've got this many volts, so we've broken 5 volts now. Just goes to show how fast you've got to spin that dynamo to get uh, some usable current. And there we go, that was the belt jumping off. I'll readjust it and uh, start again right I've checked the nut, uh, oh, sorry the bolt on the cylinder, that's fine realigned it again I ought to really put it on a more stable platform but um, I'll keep an eye on the belt and the alignment and we'll try again That's quite a pokey engine. Uh, I don't know why it seems to be a, a little bit better than the um, SE1. Maybe it's the longer throw on the SE1A. Um, but it does sustain the high speed quite well. So obviously the boiler, the burner, and the size of the piston cylinder is very well matched. Not so sure about how the burner fits in. It's in the same way as uh, any other one really. We've bent up pieces of metal for an angle to hold the burner. But one of the ideas for one of these mech ones is a tram engine in gauge one. Um, the burner seems quite stable when the engine is stationary but I'm not so sure it'll be that stable on a track going round and round that uh, it seems quite rapidly even with it being uh, would have to be geared differently and driving six wheels but that's for the future
Right, I think we'll stop it now and fit, put the, uh, quickly put the two inch pulley on and see how we get on with that. Right, here goes, the two inch pulley has now been fitted. We need to adjust the uh, operating lever, I suppose you might call it the regulator. Seems a bit loose, even though the bolt is tight. Seems to like to vibrate just at its uh, just at that speed it likes to vibrate. But we're getting felt it gently, we're getting over seven and a half volts now with the two inch puller I may even just add a little bit of weight with a bolt and a nut to do the hole in the lever So there we go folks, uh, I'll sort this video out and post it, it'll take a while uploading to YouTube and uh, we'll try a 3 inch uh, shortly. Cheers all!
even at that speed we're getting two volts just over two volts one point eight volts 